do this. Yo, what is going on, viewers of the tube? Tyler here, Chico Crypto, coming to you guys live Saturday morning here in Cali. Uh, afternoon on the East Coast, evening probably over in Europe. How's everybody doing? What's going on, decentralized dad? Thanks for tuning in. I can only assume that you are a father. Hey, LT Perosi, what's up, man? LTC Perosi is always, he's solid. He's been commenting on my videos for the longest time. Hey, Dr. Ed, what's going on, brother? I know Dr. Ed. We've met in person, actually. Hey, what's up, Paid? Um, that's what we're going to talk about, Derek. Oh, Crypto and Culture's here, too? Everybody's here today. It's going to be a good stream, it looks like. So... Bitcoin up 10385 right now. Let's see if it's done anything since. Um, 72. Alts are pumping a little bit harder. Ethereum's up. XRP is up. Bitcoin Cash is up. Litecoin's up over almost 4. EOS, even though there's a hack going on, it's up over 8.42%. That's got to be some manipulation. Finance Coin's been pretty uh, not good. Finance Coin is looking ugly. Um, other alts go down the list. There's some stuff going on. Oh, do I think Tezos is going to be big? Yes, I think Tezos is going to be big. I don't hold a like significant portion of Tezos, but I do hold some. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Scotty P is in the house, too. All of the Chico Army. What's up, guys? So... What I want to talk about today, um, especially on the thumbnail regarding, you know, the critical breakout, is there's a five-month-long uh, symmetrical triangle going on. Um, it's been starting since we were down $5,000, $4,000 level. And it's been going on for five months, and it fits in perfectly. And within about nine days, you know, that pattern expires. And if we hold in this level, I mean, there's probably going to be a big breakout. And what's interesting is right when that pattern expires, we have a major um, Bitcoin launch, um, product launch. B Backed is going to be launched on September 23rd, the date, of the, the date of the expiry. So, yeah, that it could be a big movement. Um, is it going to be up or down? That's <laughs> up to the whale traders. Um, but there are some good things, like the video I showed yesterday regarding, you know, what's creating a nice floor for the Bitcoin price is the mining industry. And there was actually a report. I wish I read this report before I did that video. It's a nice report. Um, it's called the 2019 Quarter 2 Cryptocurrency Mining Industry Quarterly Report. And they go through what's going on um, in the mining industry. But they had a price prediction kind of model. <clears throat> That's what I want to look at. And based on their model, they say that their 95% confidence interval of the Bitcoin price in 2020 will be between 17,077 um, and 23,276. Um, and that's just based on, you know, what's going on in the mining industry, what's laying the ground floor. Um, and I showed in that video yesterday, I mean, even back, you know, five, six months ago when Bitcoin was at its low 3,500, the mining industry was dom uh, demanding 6.8 million per day. Um, as of right now, it's demanding 28 million. Um, and that's just because what the miners are investing into um, what they're doing, the mining farms, the equipment, um, if they're going solar, those types of things. So it is creating a price floor. But yeah, here's a little article on that mining. It went into it. Um, and it's showing popular suppliers, they're running out of stock. I mean, Bitmain, they can't keep up with the uh, demand. Uh, they don't have the supply. Um, it is showing a bullish sign for Bitcoin. And it expects, the mining difficulty is expected to increase in November when a lot of these new miners launch. Or, I mean, they're already mining. Bitmain is mining with them um, themselves. But they're going to be given to a bunch of the farms. And... They expect uh, the difficulty to increase at least 48 to 72% in the second half of 2019. Late notification from YouTube. YouTube's being a little mother trucker. But the last time we had 
such a triangle like this was in um, 2017 in the run up to past 20,000 and then right when we got into this range. And we all know what happened after that, a collapse. <laughs> Not a good thing. So the last time we had a setup like this, it wasn't good. what everybody's doing xrp baby uh yeah let the whales whale i agree 100 percent my friend prices yeah they are cheap i mean for it's not lazy crypto it's lazy chico get it right drew currency god yeah i am pretty lazy actually i need to get unlazy stop working out Thoughts on Chainlink? Um, we're actually going to be talking about Chainlink here um, in a little bit, so I'll get to that soon. I still hold all of mine. People are idiots. I mean, I'm going to talk about this in a second. I just don't want to go through it all. But yeah, Bitcoin dominance. I mean, the dominance chart is crazy. I don't like adding in all the other ones, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cash. You know, Here's where the shat coins are in the other category. And the other category for a while, I mean, in, um, that's January, early of this year, the other category got up to like 20, 26%, while Bitcoin was 36%. Shack coins almost outdid Bitcoin. And as we've seen, the, the dominance has just been growing and growing and widening and widening. And yeah, I mean, that no reason Shack coins should have more dominance than Bitcoin. I wish I, I would have seen this back then, you know, but hindsight is a mother trucker. If Bach, yeah, if Bach is delayed again, Bitcoin will probably go down. Um, if it launches and it's not as much volume as people are expecting, Bitcoin will probably go down. It's not going to dump like if it gets delayed. But if it does exceed expectations, we could see something. Oh, so this is for everybody who hasn't seen this video, because I just need to play it. I mean, it makes me laugh. Should not play the intro. I'm sure you guys have seen that a hundred times. Hey, hey. Could I ask you a quick question really quick? Sure. Um, so it's kind of weird. Um, I just drove up here for a Bitcoin conference and it got canceled and I'm looking for something to do, place to go eat, drinks. What's Bitcoin? Oh, you don't haven't heard of Bitcoin? No. Really? It's a type of internet currency, long story. I can tell you that later if you tell me someplace to She's eat. She's a babe. Go hang out. Um, well, I'm, I'm meeting people at uh, Rocco's. Where is that? It's actually like right up there. They have Mexican. Really? You like tequila? Oh, I love tequila. Do you like tequila? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Well, instead of, are you walking there? Yeah, it's like not too far. Well, instead of walking, if you want, you can ride in my car with me and I'll drop you <laughs> off and then hang out for a little bit. And... Yeah. Um, sure. You down? Yeah, let's go. Awesome. That Lambo oh, is yeah. sick. So yeah, right here. <laughs> Oh god, it was the perfect time to use this footage. I'm just gonna walk. Are you yeah. serious? Come on. Right over there. Just, it's a smart car. <laughs> oh man, no, that's actually not my Lambo. That's one of my friends' Lambos. Um, and it's not my smart car. It's actually the editor and cameraman for the channel smart car. But I had to show that. That shit cracked me up. So here's some hippie, some hippie shit, if you're down with that. So this is going through the Bitcoin price chart could hold a key to an undiscovered fundamental economics law. And they go through some fractal patterns and everything and why the Bitcoin price has been acting like it has. It's a bunch of hippie astrological baloney. So, yeah. I haven't gone through it yet. I just uh, thought there might be some people in my um, community that find this stuff interesting. This all this reminds me of is LSD. So I'm going to read it. 
later. But this was what I was talking about. EOS is pumping like 8% right now, one of the highest uh, pumps for one of the large altcoins. Yet there are some smart contract exploits um, being found, major ones. Uh, 30,000 EOS ha and the network is frozen because of it. Um, but this is not, you know, the base layer of EOS. People, a lot of FUD going around saying this is, you know, something went wrong with EOS, the blockchain. But it's not. It's just one of their smart contracts, like what happened with Ethereum and the DAO attack. And there are still exploits that are found in, um, uh, found in Ethereum smart contracts. And there's still exploits even found in Bitcoin stuff, like the big uh, lightning exploit that was found. Luckily, no one, um, probably a white hack hacker found it so they didn't exploit it and a lot of people didn't lose their money but it did have the potential to do some damage if it was found out by a black hat first hippie astrological baloney what's really going on chico mm, not much today i got my nephew's um football game i'm gonna go watch um maybe go pick up a gavita grow light I'm back in California, going to start growing me some Mary Jane. And if you didn't know, um, if you don't know, if you're not a grower, Gavitas are the best grow light. I used to work for um, a equipment supplier, hydrobuilder.com. Oh, so there's some malware lurking around and it's trying to get your cryptocurrency wallets. Um, so, I mean, again, this just shows the power of a ledger, um, why, or a hardware wallet, why you don't just want to have, you know, a crypto wallet on your computer, because there is malware out there that is seeking to steal that. And with a ledger hardware wallet, you know, you have to sign the transaction from the outside, basically stopping a lot of that. Hey, thanks, WTC for life. Four auto flowers going? Oh yeah, John SPK. Nice big green candle on the hourly. Yeah, it's been looking good. No, I don't invest in cannabis stocks. I just invest in cannabis. <laughs> but I don't invest in it to resale. I just invest in it to smoke it. Yeah, California is a beautiful place. Unfortunately, I'm in one of the worst spots in California. Um, it, the evil Emerald Triangle, they call it. It's Glen, Tehama, and oh, Butte County, and they're not very marijuana friendly. So you have to, if you're gonna grow, you can't grow it outdoors. You have to have it indoors. That's why I gotta get a grow light. Blah blah blah. There's a nice Emerald Triangle: um, Humble, Siskiyou, and Trinity. Who pays me to FUD XRP? Myself. Um, so if you guys haven't heard of HODL HODL, um, it's a P2P Bitcoin exchange. Um, kind of like local Bitcoins, but it is using um, some decentralized escrow systems. I haven't used it yet. Hi, everyone. But, this oh yeah, we're not going to watch that. It's like a seven long minute video. But there is a video on how to use it. But it looks like HODL HODL is opening up uh, software, open sourcing it, so anyone can clone its P2P to exchange and make their own. I mean, you could even make a, well, you know, a local uh, Bitcoin exchange, you know, like a chico.hodlhodl.com or chicobtcexchange.com or wherever you live, Seattle BTC Exchange. And it would be your own, um, you know, localized, kind of almost like Craigslist type thing. But it does have a secure... Uh, escrow, decentralized escrow contracts. Oh yeah, Ren is still a good buy. Any, um, I mean, not any, but most projects within the DeFi infrastructure of Ethereum are a great buy right now, if you understand what's going on. And that's one thing I want to talk about, is give a little hint for the people who watch my live streams. Um, I wonder how many people are watching right now. Only about 421, yeah, so, yeah, not too many are watching me right now. So, for the people who are watching, 
Um, I'm giving you guys a little hint onto uh, my next two top altcoin picks. Um, Ethereum might be one. I mean, the chart for Ethereum is looking great right now. And then this is a chart I kind of want to show. Um, Ethereum price right here compared with the Ethereum gas usage. So as you can see, the price has just been going down while Ethereum gas usage has been exponentially increasing. And it's only going to keep increasing. So here's another little hint into my next top altcoin pick. It's not 0x, but I do want to talk about 0x. Because um, as of in uh, July, yeah, this must have been July because this was their August report. Hold on, let me just make sure. No, this no, this is for August. Um, in August, 0x did trade volume of 30 million um, out of all their relayers. 0x is nearly $100 million. And I think it deserves it. It is pushing out, you know, $30 million of volume in a month through its relayers. But there's another one, Kyber Network. Kyber outdid 0x. They did $59 million in July, but since uh, August wasn't as good of a month for trading, Bitcoin hit its peaks, you know, May, June, I mean, June, July, um, back down to $31 million. So basically the same. Kyber did the same as 0x, yet it only has a $30 million market cap. Yeah. Kyber, and uh, Kyber's way up today. Kind of wish I posted my top altcoin pick video a couple days ago. But you guys get Kyber's buy. You get it. My linky stays stinky too. Don't worry. Don't you worry about that. I, I still hold my Digibyte too. Hey, good morning, Crypto Samoa. Yes, um, I was just hinting. Ethereum is a buy right now. You'll see why tomorrow. I haven't looked into Bolt. I'm staying far away from, you know, the cryptos that have a new blockchain, trying to say they have some revolutionary consensus TPS. I mean, that's worn out, you guys. I've never used the rake exchange or... So, um, talking about crypto loans and stuff, there's this centralized entity out there, BlockFi, and they just um, said they're opening the deposits with um, no minimum. They used to have, I think, like a $5,000, $10,000 minimum. But now you can earn interest on your Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Gemini dollar through them with no minimum deposit. But watch out, you guys. I mean, there is this article right here. I should have linked it in the description. Um, it's called Part 1, Centralized Crypto Back Loans. A ticking time bomb and i agree 100 percent. any of the centralized ones out there uh nexo salt uh i can't think of any of the other ones off the top of my head besides block fee um i have a feeling they're primed to eventually collapse i'm all about the decentralized you know give me some decentralization in my life compound i mean compound has been doing excellent 90 days it's gone from under 40 million locked up <coughs> in its smart contracts to over 118 million as of today ethereum's chart same it's got about 643,000 ethereum locked up in it and you can check out the interest i'm always going to keep coming back to this in my live streams um Again, DAI is the most high, the highest uh, stable coin, 9.16% still for supply. Borrow is 15.11. Next highest USD coin, USDC. And then probably wrap Bitcoin. But regarding, you know, compound, 
there are these other DeFi applications, really cool ones being built off of Compound. So there's this one pool together where everyone pools, you know, some die together, say the lottery tickets are 20 die. I think that is what they are for pool together. All the lottery tickets are put in a pool and then it's sent to Compound and it earns interest. And instead of, you know, just distributing the whole pool, it just distributes what's earned on the interest. And pool together takes a little fee from, you know, the pool out of every lottery and that keeps building up and they so there's always, you know, a reward for the lottery. And after the lottery is done, if you didn't win, you get your money back. And that's that can come to fruition through DAI. I mean, DAI, that's why I'm so bullish on makers, because what's happening with DAI. I mean, you have all these different variants of DAI that allow it to happen. You have DAI, the regular, then you have X DAI, you have C DAI, which is compound, R DAI, um, there's I DAI, G DAI, LS DAI, which is going to be a stable interest coming out. And yeah, there's just a bunch of other ones coming out too. And it's going to allow so many different applications. It's mind boggling. And I uh, tried the pool together lottery. I was in the last round and I got my money back. Works 100%. Is he shilling shit coins? No, uh, pool together isn't a coin. It's a application. So I'm shilling D apps. D applications. I was going to talk about this. Uh, for anybody who um, out there who likes to build stuff, there's a DIY, DIY Bitcoin hardware wallet for 110 bucks. Build it yourself. And it's BitBoy. Not the crypto YouTuber. I actually saw that a few days ago. What's up? Yo, Chico, you heard Trump banning crypto on Monday? Trump's not banning crypto on Monday. Trump doesn't have the power to just outright ban crypto. Oh, so there was this huge Stellar, Stellar Lumens um, airdrop. 121 million is being airdropped to um, Keybase users. It's a Slack alternative. Uh, a lot of seller lumens, you just got to sign up for Keybase, do whatever. But that's not what I want to talk about. Some Bitcoin guys made a Lightning Network application to take those lumens you get and automatically convert them on, with Lightning Network into Bitcoin. Um, and that app is up right now. It's called Dump Lumens here. So you get those lumens, you want Bitcoin, do it really quickly. Those Bitcoiners. What is this? Oh, yep. Having's coming. Um, there's a Bitcoin block reward uh, having countdown. I guess it's pretty off. This one, it's at BitcoinBlockHalf.com. It said 245, but according to this one, which is more accurate, it's in 231 days. And there's 35,156 blocks left until the next having. I'll have it my way. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Why is Stellar constantly doing giveaways? That was written into Stellar's um, business model when it first launched. I mean, there when it first launched, like how they got popular was a fat airdrop worth, you know, like a hundred bucks or something. I if you kept that airdrop, the first one they gave, I think it's like worth five to ten thousand dollars right now. It was a big one. Trump vape flavor ban. <laughs> oh, God. That's so ridiculous, the vaping stuff. That's just an attack by the tobacco companies. Oh, so I said I was going to talk about them stanky. Stanky, stanky lankies. Oh, yeah. People have been, you know, oh, my God, it's gone down from four to, you know, $1.60, of course it's going to go down, you guys. It fucking got pumped like a son of a Sally. Look at that. That's recent. 
You know, that's all 2017 punk. Of course, it's going to correct down. Um, when I first made my videos, you know, it was at 40 cents. I'm still way up. I'm already, you know, 400% up. And I'm feeling good. And the reason is because of what Chainlink is doing. Um, if you saw, you know, what they've just made, they've made their own aggregate um, decentralized oracle for FUSD. Um, and that's going live. So things like Compound Finance, some of the big DeFi tools are all going to be able to take their price in a decentralized way instead of using, you know, some of the centralized oracles that they've been using. And then if you just look at the F gas station, you know, Tether, of course, um, a lot of exchanges are moving over to ERC20 Tether, so that's way up. Uh, I don't even know what Fairwind is, Maximine Coin, but then Chainlink is the next one. It's using the gas because it is, you know, fulfilling Oracle requests. Just look at the fundamentals and you realize nothing to worry about. Mm, oh, well, nah, maybe. STO platform, Dust, Dust Network? Not really into STOs, personally. As, you know, everyone thought STOs were going to be the new next big thing, and, you know, IEOs kind of took that spotlight. Um, but what I want to talk about next is, you know, research and stuff. Um, I still use Reddit for some of my crypto research once in a while. Um, one of my favorites used to be F Trader. Um, but then some, you know, controversies happened, whatever, I don't even know. Um, fights between the moderators, and they split. And now there's F Finance, and F Finance is 100% better than F Trader. Um, must be a shitty guy. You can just see from the daily comments, too. Same day, only 21 comments on F Trader, over 123 on F Finance. A lot better information, too, I've found. They seem like good mods. Our cryptocurrency has terrible mods. There are a few good mods in our cryptocurrency, but there are some really corrupted ones that love VeChain. Lay Chico? Hmm. Lay, you want to lay me, Jimmy? Ooh. What else do I got to talk about? Oh yeah, final thing, Sonom. A lot of people said this was the chain link killer, Sonom. Uh, they just exit scammed. I don't even know how this thing's still alive. How there's still $632,000 worth of volume. Where does that come from? Binance? Looks like some wash trading, though, if you look at the freaking charts. Gee, mini. Cry mini. Christmas. I've never said Cardano is a scam. That's what Charles Hoskinson's and not a very good leader. What's your plans for a Ren Dark Node? Do you recommend running one? Um, I'm personally not going to get a Dark Node. Um, I'm not holding enough Ren to have a Dark Node. Um, but, I mean... The interoperability solutions they're working on, I mean, it could be, I mean, if, if they pull it off, wow, the dark node could be highly profitable. Do I know Chainlink is going down? Of course. I mean, a coin, when it does a 12,000%, it's probably going to go down. Incorrect. But I'm in this for the long term. Yeah, Reef Bilal, smash that like button. What the hell, people? They're lazy. Because lazy Chico, you know. Yes, Kyber. Kyber, um, I've kind of hinted. It might be one of my top altcoin picks coming up. No, Cardano will not. 100x. <laughs> oh, God, you're high. That's about as... Hopium high as you get. That would put Cardano at 
100 million dollars? No, not happening. <laughs> no, I don't margin trade. It's illegal. I mean, any pro YouTuber in the U.S. actually promoting margin trading, margin trading, you know, pro telling their viewers to use VPNs, oh, God, they're going to get in trouble. That's idiotic. Don't ma margin trade. Nerd Chico. No, I'm not a trader. Hell no. I've said that from the beginning. I buy, find, hold. Hundred billion for Cardano is not even high. <laughs> oh my God, you're an idiot. One oh yeah, one third of, over one third of the crypto markets for Cardano isn't high. Cardano is not gonna rock the world. It's I mean it's too complicated, you guys. Written in what is it, Haskell? And they say they're going to have their dev solutions out, you know, where they, anyone can write in their own language. Bull sh crap. Yeah, it's a boring market. Unfortunately, you guys, not much we can do about it. And it, like I said, it's probably going to be boring for the next, you know, eight to nine days. We're getting into that range. Happens right on back to launch. So back that ice up. Yeah, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Cardano at a dollar. Vizzy VZT, if you keep spamming that, I'm not going to. <laughs> I like reserve rights. BTC to 1 trillion? People are stupid who say that, too. Yeah, I mean, Chainlink, that's the next big thing for uh, Chainlink, is the staking and penalty contracts. Once those go live, my, my body gets wet thinking about it, let me tell you. I mean, they are already fourth on that gas station. I know... When staking contracts uh, go live and penalty contracts, they will be number one on F gas station. Overdoing tether. Yes, um, when I do cut my hair, I will give away um, to any of my subscribers. One person will get my beard hair and one will get my um, hair hair. So... Put in your preference right now, beard or regular hair. <laughs> um, market's not going to keep pumping. We're in this range, in my personal opinion. It's going to be pretty boring. 10,300 back down, 10,100 back up, 10,300 until right there about nine days <laughs> you guys don't want my hair <laughs> art z wants my poobies i've been growing those too so if you want my poobs i'll send them yeah now i'll send them i've been growing them out too can you share your coin what my coin i don't have coin Ooh, Luis De La Rosa. Thank you for the tip, man. Um, he tells us to check the Bitcoin stock to flow ratio. It's looking high. Uh, that's a, not a good site. We're not going there. Thanks, John McAfee, for letting me know. Oh, yeah, it's trying to get me into it, no matter what. J 
John McAfee has my back, dude. Oh, Calvin Ayer? He's crazy. And he's creep. Um, Calvin Ayer's, um, what is it? Uh, news outlet. I can't remember what it's called. They wanted to partner with me and like get me on Bitcoin Satoshi Vision side, but I was like, I don't know. Trying to get me to fly me out to their conference and stuff. Ooh, voodoo stuff with pubes? Okay, I'm Robert Kim. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't know people could do some voodoo with your poobies. It's like um that jackass episode. Um not or was it on the movie? When they shaved I forget which one's pubes, and then they got him to put him on their friend's face as a fake beard. That was funny. That was funny as hell. Bitcoin Cash a joke? Um, my opinion, I mean, if Bitcoin Cash really wants to be something, it's going to have to move over to a different consensus algorithm. Or it's going to have to um, increase its hash rate because Bitcoin um, miners can attack it, control it like that. It's too low. I will. I'll donate my hair for people with cancer. XRP, in my opinion, is not good. Yeah, Coin Geek. Yeah, that's it. Do I have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Girlfriend wouldn't like me because of crypto. Too busy. Yeah, I've checked out that video, Jimmy. Ch crypto Chico rips Ripple and XRP a new one. I did. And I ripped the, them a new one with this one again. <laughs> so, good stuff. Do I still hate EOS? I've never hated EOS. I hold that little EOS, actually. Uh, um, but I'm not super bullish on it by no means. Not at all. Which coin replaces F? None, man. Do I still support Centivate? Of course I do. Uh, working out some things right now, you guys, with advisor position, you know, legality between getting a large percentage of tokens, you know, make sure I'm doing the right things before getting into something like that. So just be patient. Things take times. Get on Crypto Zombie channel. Crypto Zombie is garbaggio. He's one of the, just those bad chills. I mean, how you can tell a bad chill right now is just all the margin trading, um, pushing that on you guys because they're getting a large kickbacks from those guys and then not saying they're sponsored stuff when he does his normal video and then he goes to a random like small company's website and talks about it for five minutes that's sponsored he got paid for that and he's not telling you guys and it's probably illegal it is illegal that's why i made this video a few days ago just to help them out. I hope some of them watched it because this is what you got to do. You got to tell people. Especially if it's an item like margin trading that, you know, can be considered, especially with things that could be considered securities. Bullish on Tezos? Um... Yes, I said I'm bullish on Tezos. Uh, my ICX, I only have a tiny bit of ICX. I don't have a large amount. Should probably stake it, but I've just been busy. 
<laughs> Garbaggio's are your neighbor. Cardano versus S for I mean it, Ethereum, you guys. Just look what's happening on Ethereum. There's nothing like DeFi Pulse. You got a DeFi Pulse. There's nothing like this on EOS, you guys. This is where the value is at. And there will not be anything like this on Cardano. Not for a while. I mean, first mover advantage, it's big in cryptocurrency. As you can see, Bitcoin, I mean, there might be things that are better than Bitcoin, but it has the first mover advantage. It's huge in cryptocurrency. The network effect, effect is huge. Yeah, Tezos has probably one of the best governance systems out right now. My contact email, it's um, on my YouTube channel. If you go to... Um, about, you can find my uh, contact email right there. <clears throat> Chainlink going down. Uh, yep. I mean, I feel bad for people who buy at those peaks, you know, when things are pumping like 12,000% and then they buy and then they get mad. It's like, oh, uh, you can't help stupid. Can't help stupid. Do you never buy up there. Come on. Chainlink is probably nearing its bottom um, because it's getting to the price where it was before uh, the mainnet pump. <laughs> um, thanks, man. 76 or crypto. I've never heard of or I've heard of it, but I've never looked into it, man. So I can't. How do you know Zombie got paid? Because why would he pr look at some shit coins website? for no reason and spend 10 minutes on it it's obvious it's called integrations and a lot of youtubers are doing it right now they're not doing full reviews because it's easy to tell that was sponsored content so now they're doing just the regular content and then in the middle they'll go to some random crap coins website obvious i've been doing the integrations too because they are a lot less damaging than a full you know sponsored video but i stop you in the middle of the video i'm like this is sponsored content details can be found in the description but you don't know you're slanting in hey guess what crypto zombies a pussy how is that for slander <laughs> shut the fuck up I love that I got XRP like people that are talking crap, but you're sitting here watching my video. <laughs> oh, corrupted! What's up, brother? Oh, so awesome, man! I cannot. Yes, corrupted knows it's a garbage coin. The only people who don't know XRP isn't a garbage coin is the sad group of bag holders. Still holding on to that. Ooh. I appreciate it though, man. Wow, you made 2,000 mining grin? Nice. Yeah, corrupted, he's the man. He's always been solid. You need to um, send me a chat in Telegram, brother. We need to talk here soon. I'm back in California. <laughs> That's funny, Adam. Hit the likes to teabag XRP. Okay, I will look and grin and beam. I just, I haven't seen the value in them long term. I mean, like corrupted uh, my homeboy. He's a Bitcoin. He's a Bitcoin maxi. He tells me don't even pay attention to the other altcoins. And that's been good advice for pretty much the whole all of January. Chainlink, although I did make a lot more money with Chainlink, um, and I do like what's going on with Ethereum DeFi.
Oh God. I, you got XRP guys. I mean, I don't worry. I have a response coming. It's, it's going to hurt you guys. I mean, and I don't know if I can get in trouble for it because I know an exploit where I, we can take down the XRP blockchain. It's called your memo and we can upload movies to the XRP blockchain, bloating it. And I don't know if I could get in trouble for like, you know, showing people this. So don't mess with me. It's a big thing on 4chan right now. Yeah, I have an on. I mean, any of the guys pushing Bybit right now, I mean, they sh no one should be pushing margin trading on their followers. I mean, even, you know, those guys who are crypto gurus, they would get wrecked if they tried to margin trade themselves. It's just they're getting big kick kickbacks from them. And I mean, especially, you know, something like margin trading, which 100x leverage, that is fully, you know, not allowed in the United States, even though Ivan isn't here. Um, you need to put the details, even if you aren't getting paid up front, you need to put the details of your referral agreements, too, if, you're, if that's all you're doing. Be connect. XRP could be illegal. I don't think they're going to call it a security. It's on Coinbase. Coinbase is in bed with XRP. Um, what else added it? Binance US is going to add it. Oh, yeah. Bybit will be hacked soon. It, I mean, they've been doing the influencer thing, you know, getting all the influencers to all promote it. And personally, I believe it, it will something like that. They've gotten all their followers now using it, and it's going to go down. Is Elastos dead? No, Elastos ain't dead. Adam, <laughs> that's funny. Why don't I have another live stream with a zombie? Uh, just don't like associating with any of those guys. It's all just a bunch of drama and high school and wah, wah, wah. I'm like, uh, like, especially blockchain Brad. I know a lot of you guys like him, but holy crap, that guy. It's like high school for him. He's talking to you about this guy and then he goes on the phone with this guy and talks about you and it's oh, can't stand that shit where's bill bill's in the chat yep still hold all my elastos every single one of them but i'm not buying any more things i am buying more of are chain link Ethereum, Kyber Network right now, and Bitcoin. I like RSR. I don't like RSR as more as Maker, but I do like uh, decentralized stablecoin concepts and RSR. Um, this is the next one that we got Maker and Die. RSR. Of course, Miguel. Thank you guys for all tuning in. I appreciate everyone who, um, you know, comes in, tunes in for the live streams every time. I see a lot of you guys always in here, so I appreciate that. Um, what about Nash? Haven't actually used it, you guys, unfortunately to say. I hold a thousand necks. I didn't stake them. But, yeah, that's not looking good. But, I mean, Nash did have a pretty gnarly pump, too, you guys. Went from a dollar something all the way up to four. 
All right, guys. Well, I've been on here for about an hour, and um, I got a nephew's football game to go to in an hour or so. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, appreciate, again, all you guys coming in, uh, learning from me. Um, I learned from some of you guys, too, actually. So thank you for that. Um, tomorrow, I got my top two altcoin picks for quarter three, 2019. Um, and then, yeah, again, thank you for all your tips and everything. Oh, corrupted. Dude, come on. BTC and chill. Don't need to make 100x gains tomorrow. Be, be patient. Bitcoin will deliver. I agree 100%, man. I need to get my Bitcoin stack up a higher. I mean, I probably should have took in some of my Chainlink at $4 and put it into Bitcoin, but I'm confident in what Chainlink is going to do. So, but a majority of my profits from the channel are going into Bitcoin right now because I get paid mostly in Bitcoin. That's a cool thing. So again, you guys corrupted. You're the man. Everyone else who tipped me, you guys are excellent. Um, tomorrow, I'll be seeing you guys again. Peace out.